Well, Ted, the traveling mechanic, I first uh, met him after I had read an article in Antique Power Magazine, a national publication. And thankfully in that uh, publication, he put his phone number. This I think was around 1997. I recognized the 304 area code as a West Virginia area code. Called him up and uh, had some concerns about a couple of the tractors here on the farm. And uh, he came by and helped me out. Very gentleman, very uh, talented as far as his mechanical skills, but also very good writer. Uh, writing for Antique Power, and he's published in some other magazines as well. So to me, it's a neat combination. Well, I'm Ted Kelvitis, and I have a mobile farm tractor repair business that uh, I operate. I usually get all the uh, exotics and the uh, the brain buster problems that no one else can figure out. I, not that I'm any smarter, but I'm just persistent. I host uh, two columns for Antique Power magazine, The Traveling Mechanic, which is annual, and another column uh, called Of Grease and Chaff, it's very easy to uh, base my stories on my travel and people that I meet. He works on all brands, not just the farm all, but he knows how I love those. But uh, he'll he'll tackle all of them and uh, does it at a kind of a you know a regulated pace. Doesn't get upset about it if it something isn't as as he thought, and it uh, it just makes for a real good uh, approach to the old machines. He too shares the idea of keeping them alive and. You know, we don't want them to, we don't want to see them go to the scrapyard. In my collection, I have 14. Uh, all of them but one are by International Harvester, yeah. Wow. The other original one to our farm is an Alice Chalmers. It, uh, I think it's Agco Alice now or something. A lot of those companies merged over the years. And... That one uh, rear tire is low. That valve can stick, and you could wind up with 50 gallons of corrosive solution on the ground. The thing to do with this is to take a hydraulic jack and jack it up to take the weight off the wheel, put the valve clean to the top, and then uh, go ahead and add air, but be standing there with a replacement valve in case that one leaks, so you can change them real quick. Fortunately, there, there are some uh, young people getting into this. For a while it got pretty scary. I looked like I was going to be the last one. I bump them some work now and then uh, when I get swamped and I, want, I just want to make sure the customer is taken care of.